Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this week's vlog. I'm starting the vlog right here actually. We have landed safely in the Western Cape. We are in charge to be specific. So we'll be exploring the farms slash Karoo of this side of the country. So come along with us and yeah, right now we're just going to the mall, the nearest mall to grab something to eat before we check in. Enjoy the journey. This is the dinner setup we have. There's another couple, but we have to social distance. So this is where we're gonna be sitting myself and my hubby and our chefs in the background. This is the vibe, guys. This is the vibe. We having butternut soup, mushrooms. sauce I think dinner was nice mm -hmm. you enjoyed it mm -hmm. the host incredible mm -hmm. human being so he's very friendly mm -hmm. his wife as well mm -hmm. talks nice stuff yeah but very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. Mm. We, we enjoyed ourselves. Mm. First night. Mm -hmm. Bonfire as well. Yeah, we from yeah. there. But I don't like the fact that I'm smelling of smoke right now. Yeah. But it was a nice, nice evening. Mm. Very nice. Mm. So this is our cab cabin. Mm -hmm. I hope the sloop will be the night morning guys i hope everyone is doing well this is day two of the vlog i thought of introducing this day today i am doing my final touch-ups so we i'm about to go to the reception right now to meet my husband we have a tour starting at nine and it's a half day tour of this area he's already there having breakfast i did not join him because i don't eat this early so i just thought of saying hi to you guys and i'm having tea sorry for bringing you in the bathroom the light is just amazing aside so that's why you are here so yeah guys that's what's up for today i hope it's not that cold i'm wearing a dress but i'll show you guys later on but yeah that's it guys i'm just gonna quickly rush there i think i'm running late you know i'm supposed to be leaving so i'll see you then 
back. So hubby <laughs> came back with something for me, but I doubt I'm gonna eat it. But anyways, if I do, this is what I'll be having: some fruit and thing bread. Oh, that's cool. So here, this is normally locals. These are peacocks. Children coming in the hundreds. Mm. Look at this, people. Nothing happening. The, the country is dying for the tourists. Yes. Hundreds of thousands of people are jobless. Twelve o'clock. You'll see so the farm. It's the only plant in the mountain that when it burns, it, mm. it doesn't die. The fire doesn't mm. kill it. Okay, so it's called the wagon tree protea. In 18, in the, when the pass was constructed in the 1879s um, and 1880s, there was no cars, so you only could traverse the mountains. If you had to put it on a fire, it will burn out, but it will take long, and it will give you extremely long-lasting coals. This was clever of you, eh? I, I, uh, <laughs> the head I said it because my grandfather <laughs> no, told sorry. me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm appreciating this moment. Is it for the view? Yeah, that's for the view. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my, my grandfather told me a story about a porous and it burns very really quick. It's got a flame and it's gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you've got ash. This wood, because it's so hard, it grew over many, many years. That tree is about 60 years old that we saw. Yes. So you can imagine it grows so slowly. That's why wine very important this is one of the first things mm. they teach you in a wine course yeah we have great grapes and vineyards but we can't make a wine in south africa from our own oak trees like mm. stella bush it's got many oak trees yeah historically it's the second oldest town in the country but they try to make a wine from it but because of the warm temperature the trees mm. grow too quickly and the wood isn't dense enough so the wine evaporates mm. through the wood so they have to import oak from uh, French, from France, or from Americas. We in the mountains, we <laughs> Because we're going to get out here. Mm. And uh, I, I used to eat pop with them 